Today, you are going to be setting up your science notebook for observations and questions. I want you to go to your first open page. For you guys, that'll be pretty, that'll be at the beginning of your notebook. For me, I have many, many different things, many pages in my notebook already. And so I'm going to go all the way till I don't, till I don't see any more writing. Still got writing, still got stuff, still got stuff. And then here, this is my first open page. And when I'm talking about open pages, I'm talking about two pages. For this activity, you're going to need both pages. Okay, so let me talk about observations a little bit first. Observations are when a person, or a scientist, or anybody really, notices something. And they think, hmm, that's interesting. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to label this page as observations. Now, when you come back to this later, you might have lots and lots of different pages that say observations on it. So you also want to add rabbit brush, because that's what you're going to be observing today. You're going to be looking at the 360 degree image of rabbit brush and noticing things. And on this page, you're going to make a drawing. And when you make your drawing, I want you to think about how a scientist would make a drawing. Think about maybe some of the journal entries that you've seen scientists make. Um, when you're looking at the other book about scientist notebooks, you can look at that and you'll see that scientists make drawings that show the important part. So with your rabbit brush, you might not fill up your page all with rabbit brush, even though that's what it's really like. You might just make a little bit of rabbit brush so that you can add the other parts. And then on the rabbit brush, you might make just a little bit of flowers. You might add some color because to show that it's yellow. And so for me, this is a simple rabbit brush. This is showing that there's rabbit brush. And then I want to show some of the interesting things that were on it. One of the things I might show is, oh, maybe one of the little spiders. I might draw a picture of the spider, and I might draw its legs. But you can't really see the spider very well if you draw it like that. And so one thing you can also do is you can circle the spider, and you can zoom in. Now I'm going to make another circle over here, and I'm going to make my spider really big. I'm going to show his abdomen, and his, and then he had these huge legs, very, very big legs, the spider. That, and I might even show that he's got these pinchers, right? And that's, I'm going to call it the yellow spider, because I saw a yellow spider. And now I'm going to now have space here to draw more insects that I saw. Maybe I'll draw another branch over here. And you see, I'm just drawing kind of sparingly, not too much stuff. And that way I can add the things and it doesn't become too cluttered. And so when you're doing your observation drawing, I want you to think about adding some labels, maybe doing some zooming. And most importantly, show the things that you observe. What are your observations? What's interesting to you? What do you notice? Now on this side over here, you're gonna do some writing. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this side and you're gonna make a T-chart. You'll be doing lots of T-charts in your life in school because it's a good way to organize two things. And let me show you how I folded that again. I folded it right to this line, this pink line. And that way, I split my usable space in half. Half of this and half of this is ready for writing. Let me do that one more time. Oop, got split up. And then I'm going to make a line right down the middle. And right across the top right here, I'm going to make a line too. And on one side, I'm going to say 
observations. These are the things I notice. What do I see? What do I hear? What do I smell? And over here, I'm going to write wonder. What are the things I'm wondering? And kind of like when we're doing reading, and I've had you jot down what you think. The wondering or the questions, those are the things that you're thinking. So you have to pay attention to that. So one example might be, um, when I looked at the video, I heard buzzing insects. A question I might have is, why are they buzzing? Oh, and I know that your teachers and I are so curious about what other questions you have. The questions, this is where, this is what's really going to direct the learning that we're doing. So make sure you write down the things you notice, the things you observe, and then the things you wonder, the questions you have. And so just a quick review on one side, you're going to have a picture of your rabbit breast observations. And on the other side, you're going to have a T-chart with your observations and your wondering. We're so excited to see what you do with this work.